What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we are back with the 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. The goal for today, I have no idea what we're actually gonna get done today. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pressure wash everything under the hood and I might even come back with a little bit of black spray paint and just toss some paint on here just to kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm not overly concerned with what the underhood of this car looks like. I, I know that doesn't make sense because obviously we're putting in, well, it's dusty now, but this beautiful dusty uh, Smitting Performance 383 Stroker, obviously big shout out to them for sponsoring the engine. Monster Transmissions, Stage 3 204R for the transmission. Big shout out to Monster as well. And Holly for hooking us up with these three inch long tube headers for this car, as well as the full three inch exhaust, the Hooker Blackheart Edition sitting over here. This thing, all three inch mandrel bends, it should sound really, really good. So I know what most of you are thinking on a car like this, obviously you want it to look as good as possible. And to some extent you're right. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna shoot a little bit of paint under here just to make this look a little bit better but ultimately i don't expect that engine and transmission to remain in this car forever this is going to be a power tour car for this year's power tour after that i plan on and i can't guarantee this is what i'm going to do but i plan on jerking all my parts back out of it and putting the factory stuff back in cleaned up of course we'll clean it up freshen everything up make it look good put it all back and then probably sell the car so that i have all of the stuff i need for next year's power tour and who knows, maybe next year we'll throw the 383 in the Chevy pickup truck. Oh, heck yeah. I'll get Monster to send me a 700 R4, and that could be the that could be the power tour vehicle for next year. Oh, that'd be nice. Maybe. Now, I'll tell you right now, if I were to put that engine in that truck, it'd never come out. No. It'd never come oh, out. No, no I, I would, I would, that truck looks so good. Just clean up under the hood. God, that truck is beautiful. In fact, I'll be honest with you. That's all I've been thinking about for like the last week. <laughs> That's why nothing has gotten done on the Monte Carlo. I've been working on everything else because I feel like once I dump this engine in here, it's going to be stuck there for months and months, pretty right. much the rest of the year, at least till July or August. And I don't, I don't want to. I feel like that engine and transmission deserves <laughs> a better place to live. It'll still be desirable. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll still be a desirable car. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll fall in love with it on the Power Tour, and I'll keep it forever and ever, and I'll leave my components in it. I, I just don't know yet, but right now, because of how uncertain I am, I don't want to go dumping a ton of time and effort into trying to make this thing a show car. It's not a show car. It's never going to be a show car, and I didn't buy it for it to be a show car. It's a Power Tour car. It's supposed to be a little rough around the edges. Right. I just want it to be good enough to enjoy, and then when I'm done with it, most likely throw the original components back in it and go down the road. It's a cruiser. It's a cruiser. So why don't I introduce Santa's workshop to you guys, since he's over here and you got you guys probably don't even know who he is. Probably not. I bet they do. I doubt it. I bet a lot of it. If you don't know who he is, go check out his channel, Santa's Workshop. I'm going to put a link directly below this video so you guys can go check out his projects. I think you would really enjoy what he's working on right now. With that, why don't we just do a quick before and after. I'm not going to do a time lapse. We're just going to show you this is what it looks like now. Wow, man. That is already looking really, really good. Well, wait until this, uh, this is a satin black. So it's not going to have that gloss to it. That Good. You see, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't think gloss. I don't, I'm not a big fan. Now it's different with yours because you've got your body paint matched mm -hmm. on that firewall. That's different. Kind of like this, except much nicer. <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Uh, I want to go with satin black on my Are frame you? and everything. Yeah. That's factory. I don't know what's in there, but it's still wrapped up. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna continue with this, and we're gonna go get dinner. Then we're gonna come back and. Uh, Probably hit it one more time. Now, I don't know how much further we're going to get from there, but uh, we'll find out as the video progresses. It's already looking. I mean, that once you put the engine in it anyway, you ain't going to see most of it, but you sure would have seen that rust. Oh, yeah. You know, now it at least looks, it looks presentable. Very nice. Thank you, Santa. You bet. I'm high. 
Ah, that, 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 ain't, that ain't even half of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do some more. Okay. I'm kidding, kids. Let's let's uh, don't don't uh, don't breathe. Don't inhale paint. So I kind of lied to you guys. I said we we're going to come back when it's ready to start the car, but I decided to go ahead and start the camera early. We got some guests with us today. Everybody's here. We've got Delbert. You guys may remember him. It's been a while since he's been on the channel. <laughs> Long time. You got a YouTube channel yet that you're wanting to promote? It's just a little one, but it's really only two videos currently. I'm working on other videos, but it's going to take a while to get some. All right. Um, well, if you want to shout it out, shout it out. Everything changes 23. All right. So well, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. If you find out you like it, uh, if not, we'll just go on. All right. <laughs> and then, of course, Santa's workshop. <laughs> what do you want me to he's, say? He's the master mechanic over here. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh you, would, would you be serious? <laughs> and then, of course, Monkey Wrench Mike is Yay! in the house. It's been a while since we've seen you as well. It has been a while. I know. He waited for all the hard work to be done before he showed up. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Obviously, go check all these guys out. I already said, uh, I already said you in the beginning of the video. But go check out Delbert. Go check out Monkey Wrench Mike. I'll put links to all these guys below the video. So it's time to drop this thing into the car. Take a look at that. That'd be a beautiful wind chime for the front of the house, wouldn't it? <laughs> what? <Dawn>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went and did some tedious work. Uh, instead of buying and spending a bunch of money on a whole new serpentine belt system, pulley system, what we did is we, we all jumped in here and we really scuffed the heck out of these things. And then we painted them, Santa's idea, satin black. And I think they look really nice the alternator, everything. Um, so we all came in here, we all took turns scrubbing, sanding, and painting, and uh, and what? Sweating. Sweating, yeah, that's, we finally got to close the garage doors, turn on the air conditioner. And uh, everything under the hood now looks a whole lot better. At least I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it. I had so many of you saying, please don't throw that beautiful engine into that rusty car. So we really, we went to town on this and uh i think it looks a lot better and now i think is a perfect opportunity to take this engine transmission drop it in and see how it looks with all of this and then once the pulleys and everything on i think i hope it's going to come out looking really really nice oh, i think it will all right well let's drop this thing in here and uh well let's not drop it <laughs> like it's going to be that easy Set. it is it really it just it just falls in Jack it up, angle it down, and drop it. Okay. You were here for the last Think, time, weren't uh, you? Yeah, it, it was an easy. It was easy. It out. Yes, it was. That was. It, it's it's better than a 396. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I think the 396 weighed as much as the trans engine and torque converter combined on this. Uh, we got that Thor torque converter thrown in there. Yeah. Got it. We put a I don't know about half a quart of trans, maybe a quarter to a half quarter trans fluid in it. Got everything in there. The only thing we got left to do. Once we uh, get this in, is remember that we have the uh, the dipstick tube needs to be bolted back on, and we've got to put the bolts in the torque converter. Yep, that is very very <coughs> important, and fill the transmission, of course. So, well, the thing about it, when you go to back it out, you'll know real quick. Oh yeah 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 yeah. If the torque converter is not hooked up, we'll 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 find out. Yeah. I put the ARP studs in here, and you know what I did that I never do. What's that? I use a torque wrench. Yes, Tell them did. I did. You did? I, you, I have torqued everything. We <coughs> used Loctite on the flywheel bolts, and I used ARP studs for the flywheel. Or did I? Did I? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, yes. I, used, I used Loctite. We got those now. I've got ARP studs for the torque converter, ARP studs for the transmission bell housing to block. So, I mean, it, what I'm trying to say is nothing will come apart yeah. on this. So, let's, uh, let's drop this thing in. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Well guys, it looks like I lied. I've just been working hard. These guys have been sitting down like this the whole damn night. Mike's falling asleep. Look how clean his hands are. Delbert's hands doesn't look like he's, oh, don't show that, good Lord. Del he, Delbert shed blood. This, he did, yeah, well, this is a good job. two of you this shed blood. This shed blood on us. You got cut too on your legs. Well, that board fell, flew. Yeah, so, so two of us bled and two of us didn't. So you know who two worked and which <laughs> two didn't. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we all we all put in a, a good night's work, and we really got a lot done. Even though it doesn't look like it, it. probably isn't going to look like it. But I'm telling you, fighting that engine in there, good oh, lord! I tell you what, show them that engine in that thing. They're going to yeah. We done. I'm going to show you guys underneath real quick, so you can yeah. Don't get transmission. The, the yeah. Everything. Transmission. The new cross member. Uh, we got a cross member sent to us from Holly. This is their another Blackheart product. Um, you have to have a double hump cross member for dual exhaust. Otherwise, you can only run a single pipe through here, and then you got to split it into duals after. And of course, running headers, you're going to need you know uh, this cross member. So we got a new mount. Um, unfortunately, we ran into one problem. I'm going to have to call Monster Transmissions tomorrow because. The splines uh, on this output shaft, well, the output shaft of shaft. <laughs> the, 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 it's been a long freaking day. I've had no sleep for days because I've been working on all these damn project cars of mine. Anyway, the output shaft is bigger than my yoke. Yep. Like, it, they're not even close. No. So I've got to call Monster. We were really thinking maybe we could get further on this night, but yeah. without the the drive shaft it ain't moving. we ain't going anywhere so well, see we're upgrading to the new bluetooth drive shaft <laughs> that's I, that's what i hear that's what they call it yeah. that's the new thing the bluetooth drive shaft <laughs> look we all put in a lot of work tonight and the fact that it is in here let's we should drop it down and show them because really the the crown jewel is up top yeah all right let's drop it down and show you guys what it looks like with the engine back in it all right this is where it's at right here guys I didn't realize, I guess, until this moment, how far back the engine sits in this car. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, see, look, look. <laughs> look well, I was sitting in there earlier. Yeah, you were sitting in there. We we all took turns fighting this thing, and he was sitting in the engine bay pushing with his legs. And one of us was over here with the pry bar. I was over here with the crowbar. And who was over there with the crowbar? Was it Monkey? Mike. Monkey both, wrench. Both mics were doing that one sometimes. <laughs> we had we took turns with crowbars, feet. Like you want to talk about wrestling an engine in? Uh, yeah, yeah, this 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 was a this was a bear. Obviously, we still got a long way to go. We still got to get the headers installed. That should be fun. We got the trans dipstick back in. We're going to replace the evaporator. We're going to replace the accumulator, um, the heater core. Oh, the trans dipstick. Very nice. We'll that's oh, the that's the icing on the cake right there. I think I think it all came out so good. Look how nice with the, without all the rust, with it being just a light coat of paint. Mm -hmm. It looks so much better under here. That's a beautiful engine. Although we could be running into a problem when we put an air filter on this. <laughs> I think it was Delbert here that brought that up, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a little close trying to put one on there. Yeah, we could. We're, we're going to find out. I may end up having to buy a cowl induction hood. I think it. I think it might just clear. We might be all right. It might be okay. We may have to remove the hood padding. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be all right. We got to put the condenser and the radiator, and then of course all the lines and everything. Accessories got to go back on. All that good stuff. And I need to buy a breather. There's so many little. You know, little odds and ends still left to, to purchase and do, and a 90 degree elbow for this. And I may have to reroute this fuel line because the inlet for the fuel pump um, is, is right here where my finger is. And the fuel line, the hard line, is right here. And then it transitions to rubber. So we're going to have to figure that out as well. A long way to go, but we've got so much done today. And here's the best part. Take a look at the shop. Wow. For months, months, we've had crap strung out all over the shop. Don't look over there. Yeah, don't, well, <laughs> you know, look over here at this beautiful satin finish on all of this stuff, man. I think all of this just came out looking really, really good. We're close. We're really close. What, what, what's amazing is all that stuff that was here 
is now in here. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the old engine that is outside in the yard. That's we, true. we threw, <laughs> we kicked it out. We're going to clean it up and uh, if I didn't tell them what I'm going to do with it, I'm not going to because we'll okay. they're probably <laughs> going to get really upset with me. Anyway, we're, we're going to do something with that stuff later. Very sorry that I said that we were going to get this thing running for you guys in this video. I, uh, I expected more than was possible. There wasn't enough time. We're also missing a few parts. <laughs> so well, when you're going back in with something that has been custom built, yes, you are going to run into everything. Yes. Which is why I spend most of my time buying pre-built cars from the auctions. <laughs> Laugh all you want. I just buy them, tinker with them, and then I get to enjoy them. This one, uh, you know what this means? I'm going to have to keep this one. I'm going to, I'm going to keep this one forever and ever. Keep it never at kept a, a car forever and ever. <laughs> he, he already knows. <laughs> keep, it, keep it for at least a year so I can chase you with the El Camino. Or you won't Cabo catch Arrow. me. You won't catch me. Oh, oh. You want to put some money oh, on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put some money on it. How long do you think it'll take to build that car? How long do you think? I, I'll, I'll probably have it running by midsummer. Really? Yeah. And you want to race? If it's running. Where can we race at? That'd be fun. I'd do it just for fun. Oh, we'd, we can go up. Uh, up to Thunder Valley at Norman. Oh, you want a race race? Listen, man, I don't have a rear end in this car. This is a stock rear end. So is mine. No. Yeah. No. It is right now. No. Gosh. Oh. <laughs> I saw what you got for it already. But it's still stock currently. But when we go out there, it won't be. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to hit the gas. I'm going to either snap my drive shaft because the track is sticky now. I'm talking about on the pavement where I can just let loose. On the track, we're going to break things. Lot, <laughs> drive shaft, the whole rear differential, axles, something is snapping. Well, we could go to Ardmore. It's eighth of a mile and they do no prep. Oh, I like no prep. That's my. That sounds like my kind of race right there. <laughs> just, you know, there's nothing on the track to make it Right. Safe. See, that, 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 I would feel a little bit better about that because I'm going to be riding on, uh, well, no, I'll put, I'll put the, what it, yeah, I'll put better tires on it, but I ain't going to be riding on Mickey Thompson's or anything like that. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> you know, we could, we, could, we could race for fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd, I'd be happy. I've never raced at a track before. Never. Have you? Um, long, long ago. Long, so we'll be, we'll be, this will be a learning experience. Yeah. We can bring all our friends for moral support, or they can ride with us. Mike, you ride with me. I will wave you on <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to ride in the car with me. Our job is going to be at the start line. We're going to go like this and drop the rag. They're the, they're the cheerleaders. Yeah. They're going to have their shirts off. <laughs> uh, you don't want to see that. You don't want to see that. <laughs> That'll really make you hit the gas to get out of there. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, it was a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. I want to take everybody out to dinner if we can find anything out here that's even open. Brahms. Okay, but then Brahms or or I'm just saying Taco Bell. If you remember what Taco Bell? Uh, boy, I shouldn't get Taco Bell though. That's <laughs> <laughs> I got a long drive home and I'll be by myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've got company. Let's there do Taco, no Taco Bell. Bell. <laughs> there is Taco Bell. I know, but not for us tonight. There is. Not when you have company in the There car. is. <laughs> there is Taco Bell. I know where it's at. We could, yeah. Taco Mayo, Taco Bell. The windows Let's, will be open. Again, guys, please go subscribe to these gentlemen. Monkey Wrench Mike, Santa's Workshop, and I don't know YouTube Everything's channel. Everything's changed. Everything changes. 23. Everything changes 23. Like I said, I will put links to all these gentlemen down below. Thank you all so much for coming out and helping. And of course, thank you to all my subscribers for going and checking them out, subscribing to their channels, of course. Again, right? Mike, I only have two videos currently, but I will put some more up when I can. Hey, everybody's got to start somewhere, man. Yep. Uh, we really got a ton done. Power tour isn't till June. You know, there's still plenty of time to tinker, and there's going to be a lot of tinkering yeah. especially with the headers i feel like on this side like through here yeah i'm <laughs> i'm yeah looking forward to it no you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the stock manifolds off the other engine just throw them on you can't you're gonna have to fix those to put them on there they're broken no they have extra 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 stuff in them you're gonna oh, have we'll to plug holes the, we're gonna put all the smog stuff back on oh okay right. yeah 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 yeah. that's right. right i forgot about all the smog stuff we'll just reinstall it yeah anyway guys we're gonna get out of here we gotta go get some dinner i gotta 
I got to move my trailer and I've got to move my bike and all this other stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. We look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>